This is Charlotte. It was sent over to me by my friends over at Uniwigs. I've really been wanting to get a long beachy blonde kind of mermaid hair that I could take with me to the hair loss sisterhood retreat that I'm attending in April. And this just fits the bill. It is so beautiful. I cannot put into words how much I love this color. But the color right here is 601R. This is called Champagne Lux. It's described as icy blonde, beige blonde balayage with natural dark root. So when you get this in, you are going to have a little flap of lace that you're going to need to trim back. I have seen, I don't know how many new wig wearers who are like, that wig is beautiful, but what the heck is going on with the thing flapping in your forehead? So if you are not familiar with lace top wigs, that is to be trimmed back. So don't ever let that scare you um, from purchasing a wig because those lace fronts are meant to be trimmed to the hairline to customize for you. But let me go ahead and take it off and give you a look at the inside of this gorgeous wig. So you have the closed wefting in the back. It's super stretchy. You have a lot of room to groove. It has a very, very, very generous lace top. The lace is really soft. It's not itchy or hard at all. It's very soft lace, but look how much room you have to just style however you like. Um, it does not have ear tabs, reinforced ear tabs. It has combs right here at the side. I typically take those combs and I just tuck them into my wig grip just for a little extra security. So first things first, I'm going to work on disguising the knots. So I flipped the cap of this wig inside out. I'm going underneath and I'm just dabbing my concealer along that part line. Once I'm finished with the underneath of the cap, I'm going to go ahead and put this wig on and then I'm going to work on the top of the cap with any knots that are still visible. I'm just taking a thin brush and I'm taking that concealer again and going through the part line and along the hairline. And I'm going to pull it down to kind of gauge where I need to start trimming. Then I'm going to grab a sharp pair of scissors and I'm just going to trim away where it's hanging over my ear. That way I can pull my bio hair out and seamlessly blend that hairline. I know it's scary, but it'll be okay. Now I'm gonna take a wide tooth comb and just pull out my bio hair to make sure that I did in fact trim enough back. I'm loving how this is turning out. And I'm just gonna go in, do some loose beachy waves and kind of get rid of a little bit of the box hair that we have going on. So all we did at the part line and along the hairline was add a little bit of concealer and powder to mask those knots. I personally do not prefer bleach knots because it's really going to impact the longevity of your human hair piece. Um, it may look really beautiful when you first get it, but the hair is going to eventually shed a lot quicker than with unbleached knots. So I don't mind putting a little makeup on knots if it means that I'm going to get a lot more bang for my buck in the long run. And that's what we're doing here. So um, a little bit of makeup right here along the part line and along the hairline right there. Um, so I just trimmed this back to allow that to happen. So before the lace in the hair was coming well past my bio hair. So I just trimmed that back. That way I could have my own hair right here um, at the hairline. So that's all that I did. And then I just put some curls in to kind of get rid of a little bit of the box hair that it maybe had on its voyage to me. And it is just, you guys, it's beautiful.